Hi guys, welcome once again to The Locker. I am your host, Legends of Cybertron. And here today in front of you, I've got a bit of a rare treat for you. And when I say it's a rare treat, I mean it's an oldie but a goodie. You've basically got your Papa Toys, Inferno and Grapple. Well, this is Inferno, for anyone who doesn't know, and that is Grapple. Now, as you can tell, I'm doing this as a double pack because these get sold as a double pack. Pretty much kind of like uh, Mechfans Toys, Inferno and uh, Grapple as well, who I will be uh, reviewing in a, another video. So, let's get to it, shall we? Now, obviously, you can see these guys are in alt mode already, as, as, as I normally do it. But these are the bevy of um, bits and bats you get with each one. You each get a instruction manual that has grapple on one side and inferno on the other. Now, obviously, this is called PPT2 uh, Fire Engine and Sling Van. Oh, that's this is PPT03 Sling Van. Uh, that's what grapple's called anyway. And uh, I. I, I, I I like Papa Toys, okay? I mean, at one point, I did have... Uh, pool. I had Magnus, Hot Rod, Reflector, and I got rid of Reflector. Who else was there now? It's on the tip of my tongue, actually. I've reviewed anyway. I've, I've reviewed them all anyway, basically, what what's actually out. And this is my final one. I uh, finally got hold of them, and... Uh, they're quite nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, these are actually quite nice figures. I mean, when it comes to Mech Fans Toys, they look more G1 than these guys. But these guys still look very good. Um, first off, let's just show you the box because pretty much the boxes are standard. Okay? They're standard. Each one is exactly the same all the way around. Every single one. And that's underneath. I mean, which, if you think about it, if you're releasing it as a double pack, then that is pretty much the uh, the bog standard, isn't it? You know, they're going to release it as a double pack, but they both get a box a piece. They both have accessories, but they both have the same instruction manual uh, in each box. So, I mean, I can't, I can't really diss them. I quite like them. I actually do like them. They both come with the same guns. So obviously this is Inferno's, one of Inferno's guns. And then he also has this gun. As well. But you know, it would it be better if I hold it like that? Yeah, there you go. I'll just get the other gun and hold it again like that for you. Let's see. Each one has the same gun. Each one has the same uh, faceplate, or secondary faceplate, let's see if we can get it close. Okay, that's that one. I'll just show you grapples. Is that the same? Oh no, that's a different face. So I'm wondering if the other face is on grapple. Where's he gone? Yeah, I see. It's a slightly different face. With Inferno, you get a hose, which attaches to this implement here and obviously he holds this and this gets plugged into i'm going to say probably this or actually that could be that i don't think it matters really out of one hand into another but yeah you get you get the rubber holes you get this um what you call it i can't remember you know what it is when i finally realize what it's called i'll go oh yeah it's such a thing um, I'm going to say fire hydrant, but it's not a fire hydrant because it's not a fire hydrant. Seriously, not a fire hydrant. I don't even know why I've got that in my head. And then obviously you've got these two bits. Okay. That's for Inferno. For Grapple, you've got a bucket. Uh, one of those things what you get in the fire engines. Does that actually fit on there? No, it doesn't. Like a... Um, I can't remember what you call that now. I'm doing well, really, for this review, aren't I? And then, obviously, you get this gun and this gun again. Getting in there close. No. 
There you go. And as well, this one. Pretty much, that is a bog standard set that you get. Pretty much the same on each one. Now, first off, we have grapple. Now, this does turn 360. It does go in. Just get a bit of grip on it. And the hook does go down to there and out to there, like that. And as you can tell, I quite like the detail. Yellow plastic with black plastic, silver and white pieces. I, I quite like it. I really do. It's nice and compact. These bits here come down so you can uh, basically park him if you wanted to. But we're not going to do that, are we? Nah. We're not going to do that. And obviously Inferno. Exactly the same. This extends and goes in like so. This is really hard to get out though at first. You can't really... You can't really get a good grip on it. Oh, he tells a lie. Yeah, he gets a grip, but it's very hard. Very stiff. But still, that's quite good. Just getting him ready for transformation there. That's underneath. That's around the back. And that is on top. And obviously that's on top as well for this one. And underneath. See, so pretty much the same. Bog standard transformations. So, let's get started with transformations then, shall we? So, first off, what we've got to do, we've got to unfold this here, and unfold this, and unpeg at the back, like so. Can you see the two pegs here? They go into those two holes. I'll just use this because I've not got my, my pointer, my, my screwdriver pointer. And then we're just going to lift that up to the... And, we, and then just push that round, push them in, like so. Now with the, heart, with the arms, we're just going to manoeuvre them. That's all we're going to do. Manoeuvre them back around to the... To the... And then we're just going to spin the arm round, like so. Same again on the opposite, uh, uh, opposite side. We'll just move it up so it can go into this hole here. There is a hole there. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it there, can you? And obviously this pegs into it. Like. So, there we go. And then we just spin the arm around. Now this arm did come off before when I did that, but it stayed on this time, so that's not so bad. And then this basically just comes down. It's the legs. These are the feet. We just unpeg them. And then we just push the feet back into position. On a ball joint. So they can move around like so. And then we're just going to spin the head round. Up here, see. To the... Put his head up. Ta-da! So now what we've got to do is this next bit. So this next bit it has to fold, you have to fold this in. So it goes in on itself. So first off, what we've got to do is got to do a little bit of jiggery pokery. Might not get it first time. Oh, oh, hey, oh, that's coming off. We don't want that off. We do not want that off. Oh, it's coming off again. Oh, hello. Oh, it's not falling there like that. Just bear with me. I wonder if it's supposed to go like that. No. I've already transformed it once, so it's like very much. Um, <laughs> yeah, not working as, I, as it should be. That 
Almost there. No, that doesn't do that to there. That doesn't do that to there. Bear with me. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. I didn't think that was going in. It's still not in. This is the only thing about it, I think, if anything. Let's just take that off. It's quite annoying. Oh, no, it's not annoying, actually. It's, no, it's not going to come off, actually, sorry. It's going to stay exactly where it is. Won't be a moment. Be back in a sec. And I'm back. Joe, seriously, as soon as I just turned that off, I got it. I mean, really? <laughs> really? Ugh. Anyway, and that goes down there. So, uh, that's pretty much grapple transform for you. And we're just going to stick a gun in his hand just to show you him in posability mode. Now, obviously, I just keep the arms out of me or keep them in like so. Now, obviously, the arms do go 360 round and come out. The elbows do turn around. Um, but like I said, I think it's the left one that's, that falls off. Anyway, let's get really on. Let's go on to this one. Let's get on to this one. So, first off, what we're going to do is unpeg this. Honestly, seriously, as soon as I turned it, as soon as I went, yeah, I'll be back in a second, bang, I got it. Every time, without fail, something happens. But, would it be my channel if I didn't do it, didn't do something daft? So, we're just going to unpeg the arms, which I don't think I showed you in the last one. They're just pegs on the arms, and they basically peg into there. I'm just going to spin the arms around now, save time, stick the arms around like so, move the body down, let's move the head up, or turn it around the opposite way. Now this one obviously has his little, uh, his little uh, wings here, so these just need to come out like that. Okay. Uh, this as well, we're just going to unpeg and unclip his feet. Can you hear that click? And now, okay, so we're just going to go that way. Here we go again. Oh, hang on. That goes to there, like that. That comes down to there. No, yes, no. Why is the legs moved up? <laughs> oh, I haven't even fell, folded them in, have I? Silly me. Let's fold them into there like that. I think probably the best thing to do is to get it like this position. Oh, so yeah, that goes in there like that. Yeah, man, work with me. There we go. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No, it's not. Yes. I swear, if I have to stop this video one more time. Just that little bit at the back. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha ha I got you. Oh, I'm sweating cobs now. Right, okay. And what we're gonna do is just gonna take out his left hand because he's these all unplug. See? It's on a ball. Take that there and put in his water cannon. There we go. I'm not gonna put a gun in this guy's hand. I'm just gonna leave him as he is. And obviously the uh, the arms do peg in. At the top there. Like that. Ta -da! And again, he still, he still has the same posability as grapple. Like so. 
there we are sorry i had to pause the video and sorry i struggled a little bit with the uh, the old uh, ladder and uh, bucket but uh, i got there in the end i got there in the end don't worry i'm fine <laughs> Uh, right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to stand these guys up and we're going to do the height comparison test. So, what we're going to do is put, uh, I think I'm going to put them like that. Yeah, like that. Maybe a bit wider. There we go. And we're going to go with the bigger bots first. So, the bigger bots, you're talking Mech Planet Optimus Prime. Okay. You're talking Mechfans Toys Hound. Again, you see they, they do uh, match in height because uh, they are the uh, bigger bots. We've got Papa Toys Ultra Magnus. Okay. We've got Iron Factory's Jetfire. I'd love to see this as a Magic Square figure one day. And last but not least is Mechfans Toys Omega Supreme. Stand in at the back. There he is. Okay, so now on to the smaller bots. So I'll just bring them in and we've got Toy World's Wheeljack. He looks tiny compared to them too. He really does. And we've got Magic Square's Blaster. Okay, Magic Square Bumblebee, who just fell on his face. There you go. Quite big bots, really, when you think about it. Then you've also got Core Class Optimus Prime. Who, again, still the big bots. Definitely for your Legend Class, uh, Legend Plus collection. I wouldn't go with New Age or Magic Square with these guys. And they are New Age Cliff Jumper, who is teeny tiny in stature next to these two big hunking brutes and that is pretty much it what i didn't show you however was the buckets instead of the crane so i'm just going to un take the hook off see the hook goes on with a, a, a peg into the hole there and then obviously the bucket slots on the as well and obviously can move in and out which might actually leave the bucket on to be fair and that pretty much is the same with um this fireman's um lift fireman's lift which came with grapple but then again you could use it with grapple i suppose couldn't you and that is pretty much the end of the review so thank you very much for watching uh like i said sorry about the the back kibble on these guys um once you got once you get it it's fine they, they, they transform well and truly easily enough there you see they're nice and compact everything's hid away uh hope to see you guys again soon if you do like please like subscribe hit the notification bell uh and uh, i hope to see you all again soon bye for now